Hi, we're going to be using uh, Microsoft Excel to do some statistical analysis in a little bit. Um, but first, I just want to introduce you to the interface. Uh, so when you open Microsoft Excel, <coughs> this is what you should see. Uh, at the top, we have a title bar. It has the name of the workbook file. The files that uh, Excel uses primarily are called workbook files. Uh, it has the name of the workbook file as well as the, uh, the title of the program up here. You have some buttons here you can use to minimize, maximize, or close the window. Uh, you can see, let's see, what else do we have? We have a, you get a save button. Uh, it gives you a little tooltip there. Control S will save as well. You also have an undo button. Uh, we can't right now because we haven't done anything. Control Z undoes. And we have a redo, which is Control Y. Uh, this is your quick access toolbar, and you can add stuff to it if you want. If we wanted to you click new, okay, now we can click this to make a new document, which is book two. You can see up here, I just clicked it. Um, back to book one. Uh, and you can add and remove this stuff or sort them if you want. Um, in addition, up here we have the Office button. This lets you do a bunch of different things with your document. You can create a new one. You can open uh, an existing document. You can save it um, or save as. You can print it um, as well as uh, access any of your old recent or your recent documents. Uh, in addition, since you've been uh, using stuff, bef once, you've, once you've built up a list of recent documents, you can tack things. Uh, if you click the pin, uh, it it pins the document to the recent documents list so you can access it easily. You can see that I have task tracking pinned because I use my task tracking uh, document every day. So that's the one that I use regularly. Um, you can also close. And last but not least, we have an Excel options here, which we can click, which gives us the ability to modify our settings. Uh, we'll be using this in a little bit um, in the data analysis tool pack installation. But just to give you an idea of what's in the Excel options, um, you can set your color scheme, you can change the default font, you can change your username, um, you can edit your formulas, uh, you can decide whether it's going to you know, spell check, how it's going to spell check, uh, the, the default formats, anything that's kind of a basic function of uh, Excel, you can edit in here. You may not want to do that too much, uh, but after you play with it a little while, you may want to make some customization options. Um, you can customize your quick access toolbar as well. Uh, so that, that can be useful. All right. Next on our screen, we have the uh, the ribbon. This thing up here is called the ribbon. You see that it has a bunch of different titles up here. These are menu titles. Um, and each when you click on each one, it brings you to a different palette. Each palette has a bunch of different icons. Um, so we have the home palette, insert, page layout, formulas, data, um, which uh, allows you to modify data. Formulas allows you to use formulas. I usually use formulas I know pretty well, so I don't use this one that often, but uh, if you want to see what kind of formulas exist, this is a really good way to take a look. Um, you have rounding and stuff in here. All right, review. I use this to draw. Mm, you can do that. You can draw in there with the review tab. Uh, you can also show or hide your uh, notes. Um, you can change the way that it looks. With view um, and yeah, you can work as a team. I never do that. Mostly, we're going to be using home, uh, insert for charts if we do any charts, um, and data. All right. Okay, so allow me to delete this ink. Uh, down here we have our uh, what's this called? It's called the name box. The name box where you can insert and edit the names. It also tells you which cell is selected, um, and then over. You can drag this to make it wider or more narrow. Over here we have our function bar or formula bar. This is where you can in, you can edit the contents of the current uh, cell right in there, and it shows up down here um, in whatever cell is, is labeled over here. Uh, in addition, you can also use this to insert formulas. So you click that F of X, F of X and tell it what you want to do. And we can add a bunch of different numbers if we want one. We're going to add one, two, three, four, and five, and there we go. So you can use the formula bar to edit and find fun formulas. Um, okay. Uh, down here we have the, the the where the work happens. This is the body of our table. Uh, and as you can see, we have columns. Columns that have letters, and uh, we have a lot of them. As many as we need, really. You can keep going over as long as you want. After it gets to Z, it goes to A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, E. It goes all the way. It keeps going all the way over. 
Uh, we also have rows, and our rows have numbers. And again, our rows have numbers. I'm going to press page down a few times. You can keep pressing page down. You can see we, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of rows. If I hold control and press the up arrow, it'll bring me right up back to where we were. Control home also brings us to the top left, automatically brings you to A1. Um, so those are some handy uh, tips for navigating. <clears throat> we'll do a little bit more navigating and talk about that a little bit more as we go along. Um, so yeah, so those are the cells. You can also uh, refer to these cells. Uh, if we want to have this be the number that's in B2, or the formula, or the thing that's in B2. Oops, B1 I mean. A2, there we go. Now this equals that. We can have this be A equal to A1. And then I just basically said, whatever's in co whatever's in uh, cell A1, put in this box. Whatever's in cell A2, put in this cell. So if I say, we'll edit that as well. So we have references that you can build into cells. You can also build numbers into cells and formulas. Um, other things that are worth knowing about. We have multiple sheets. So what we're seeing right now is just one sheet, but we have tabs down here that allow us to look at other sheets. As you can see, they start out blank, um, and the stuff we put doesn't disappear. It's still there. You can also scroll through. Uh, I guess that doesn't do anything just yet. Yeah, when we have too many sheets to see, these arrows help you navigate. We can click this here to add sheets. Uh, you see it says insert worksheet. I'm not sure you can see that tooltip. There you go. You hover the, over this, it says insert worksheet. And holding shift and F11 will do this, but you can also click here. You can add as many sheets as you want. When you have too many, using this allows you to scroll across your tabs. You can also right click on these. Let me move all the way up here. If you right click, you can delete uh, these sheets. And if you right click on anything, when you see an underlined letter, if you hit that key, it will do perform that action. So if I press R, it allows me to rename this. Um, and if I press D, it will delete it. So I can just delete all. You can also select multiple sheets at the same time and delete them all together. Um, so there's some useful stuff you can do with your sheets as you move around. Uh, it allows you to keep your information organized. So you can have one sheet for data. You'll see I have one sheet for data, one sheet for problems a lot of the times. Okay. Finally, we have scroll bars, which allow us to uh, move across and move down. Uh, and then we have a zoom zoom feature so that if we want to make things really big, drag it to the right, make them really small, drag it to the left, so you can see lots and lots of pages at once, or you can see uh, just one or two cells. Okay, that's the basics of Excel. Um, we'll be using it more in the future. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, please stay tuned for more. Bye.